unless you've recently passed your driving test, it's probably been a few years since you flicked through the highway code. But let's face it, we're all familiar with rule 124, do not exceed the maximum speed limit for your vehicle or the road you're on. So we know that doing 40 in a 40 is technically legal, but is it safe? How can you judge a safe speed within the limits? This road is 40 miles per hour, and any safety cameras we pass will know if I've gone over that. But if the conditions were rainy, dark and windy, and I had a crash at 39 miles per hour, the police would have some serious questions about my speed and whether or not it was appropriate for the conditions. This is where rule 125 comes in. This road is a national speed limit, which in this vehicle is 60 miles per hour. But 60 miles per hour isn't a target, and as you can see, it's not safe to go over 20 to 30 miles per hour. It's 30 miles per hour here. I saw the sign up the road. And all the street lights around me give me a clue that the speed limit should be 30. But come on, with all these pedestrians, that's not safe. It's much more appropriate to go about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And I can only rattle and see the one person got their phone out. Yeah, oh my god. Shh, a minute. Appropriate speed isn't just about weather conditions, road types, and people outside the car. If you're feeling a bit stressed, tired, or distracted by annoying passengers, hey. you should think about decreasing your speed and increasing your safety margins. But if the term appropriate speed seems a bit wishy-washy, here's a hard and fast rule for making sure you're driving at a safe speed within the limits. Right now, I'm within the speed limit and what feels like a safe distance away from the car in front. In dry conditions, that's two seconds. Double it to four seconds for wet conditions, and in ice, it's 10 seconds. There's an easy way to check. Pick a fixed point like a tree, a road sign, or a street light. When the car in front passes, start counting. When you pass it, stop counting. That's your gap in seconds. Three seconds, great. But what if there isn't a car in front? If there is a broken down vehicle or a family of cyclists around this corner, would I have enough time to stop? The speed limit for the car here is 60. Add in reaction time and actual braking distance and I'd have to slow down quite a lot at the tighter corners. Remember, you must always be able to stop in a space that you can see to be clear. If you can't, you're gambling that the road ahead, which you can't see yet, is empty. You might be a great driver, but that gamble has nothing to do with skill. It's about physics and pure luck. Of course, it's essential to know the speed limit for the vehicle that you're traveling in, but it's also important to remember that speed limits aren't targets. Please, stay within the limits at a speed appropriate for the conditions, and remember, you must always be able to stop in a space that you can see to be clear. Thanks for listening. Safe driving.